I was uh, somewhat alarmed the other day to find out that there's a primary school local to me where as part of the regulations they have to follow uh, they have to keep all the windows open in the classrooms no matter what the weather to allow ventilation to flow back and forward back and forward and uh, carry all the nasty nasty germs out of the window and into the fresh air with them oh joy oh rapture now who I feel sorry for particularly are the young kids that are having to sit next to these open windows and get cold well the answer that the school gives is well wear a vest hmm <laughs> How do everyone? Welcome back to the channel for a Thursday. Hope you're doing all right. I'm not too bad myself. Yeah, this thing with the kids, it's uh, crazy, crazy, crazy. That that example I told you uh, right now, you know, we ain't going to shut the windows. We're going to leave them open, wear a vest. So if that child comes down with a nasty cold or a cough because of the exposure to cold winter air, what's going to happen then, I wonder? You know, are they going to say wear a raincoat? It's uh, rather ridiculous, particularly when the kids are young and a bit more fragile than some of the older lot. Well, it goes further than that, doesn't it? There's a school in Cheshire uh, where some of the kids have been, uh, you know, quite cold and they've been coming in wrapped up in their own warm jackets and uh, trying to do their best to keep out of the elements, which is quite sensible, really, all things considered. But the school had other ideas. They all had their coats confiscated because it wasn't the uniform. They were told, or the parents were instructed, that they had to purchase a load of school-branded uniform, including a wind cheater thing that you put over yourself, which, quite frankly, isn't fit for purpose, at the cost of roughly £100 a head. £100 per pupil. How many families in this day and age with rising energy prices and everything else actually have? a hundred pounds to spare i mean in my day and age we had a school uniform of course we did but none of this branding nonsense we have now we had a blazer with a badge on it and everything else but if we were cold we bought our own coat in now what's going to happen when some of these children end up with a cold or worse because they're made to stand out in a playground with no protection from the elements and a coat confiscated that Mummy and Daddy bought for them to protect them while they were at school. Not on. Massive on goal for this school, I think. Let me know what you think of it all in the comments below. I mean, they're looking at, I think, September 22 uh, to actually do away with the requirement or, you know, to say you don't need to spend a fortune on branded school clothing. Uh, it's just something that's not going to happen anymore. But uh, be interested to know your views. Anyway, I'm off. See you shortly. Toodaloo.